Welcome back everybody to another F1 23 My Team Career Mode. It is now season two. So let's go ahead. First of all, let's start out with renegotiating with Oscar Piastri. I think I've kind of decided just to go with him rather than trying to approach anyone else on the market. So let's see here. Yeah, you can make an offer to your driver. Um, you offer, the we can them agreed to it. Um, careful, resign them. them. If you we're going to go anymore, would you, in this negotiation um, We're going to go medium risk here I don't think Yep, we got him right there I was going to say I don't think he's going to go anywhere but, um, So we have Piastri For the rest of the season um, So let's advance through some time I also have our Races selected for um, so next season. Let's go through the end of the season here. Big acclaim boost there for both Piastri and I. We're about the same level right now. A big jump in the team acclaim as well. We've got um, $16.6 million added to the bank. They were with 19.1 million. And let's see what else here. So, Bahrain, we're going to do a 10 race season. Bahrain is on the schedule. Jeddah is not. Australia is not. Azerbaijan is. What I do here? What I do? Uh oh. Hang on a second. I messed something up. Let me back out and I'll get better back with you guys. All right. So it looks like I just um, advanced too fast. However, I do think it sets us up pretty well. Let me take a look at the notes here. I was planning on run by rain, anyways. Uh, I was not planning on running Australia, I was going to do Azerbaijan, we had a worse result there, that's okay. I was going to run Miami, I was going to run Monaco's on the schedule, unfortunately, that would have been a good one to run. Britain is on the schedule, so is Belgium, Netherlands is not, but that's okay. Um, Singapore, unfortunately, is not on the schedule either. And then I have Las Vegas here as well, and I was going to run Abu Dhabi to finish out the season as well. So, let's see, one, two, three, four, about half the races I wanted to run around there. Um, but I think it should work out pretty well. That looks like a fairly balanced schedule. So, let's get some activities planned out here. Um, ooh, we could get a big chunk of resource points here. Actually, let's get Piastri trained up some here. Um, could also get a decent bit of cash, some team acclaim. How much more time do we have here? Not a ton. Um, we've got eight days here, so some extra R&D points would be nice. But I want to go with some team acclaim. Try to um, get up to that 15th um, acclaim level. Let's look at the facilities here. Get some stuff moving here. Resource. Let's get some resource point generation here. We've got a lot of money that we can work with. Um, get all the upgrades. In each of these um, I'm not going to do anything with durability yet um, let's look at some quality control for both aerodynamics as well as the powertrain then 
Um, we've got 4.9 million left. Um, let's look here. Not much that we can do there. Let's actually go with the pit equipment. Here, that's going to help both Piastri and I. Um, and that may be all I have enough for right at the moment. Let's go to the R&D side of things. Let's see if there's anything we can do here. Um, let's see where we're at in each of the departments first, actually. Um, we're at the top for chassis. Looks like we did really well at developing or redeveloping everything there. Um, arrow, we need a thousand for everything. Let's just see. We're all, we need to really work on some arrow. I've been kind of saying that. Powertrain, we're about middle of the road. Let's see here. Let's get some engine power um, started here. We've got enough resource points for that. Let's go to the overview, run through some time. We've got a whole bunch of D points that came through there. Um, getting some extra claim. Some more R and D points. We to increase our claim, we had a more failure partners, there. We to work with us. Um, we can now approach an additional sponsor from the corporate tab. We did get to that level 15. Let's see. Five constructors champion points. That may be doable. with weekly income on that. That's pretty high as well. Plus, we get a good chunk of money for completing that goal bonus. I think between Piastri and I, that'd be um, quite doable. Fastest lap in a session. That would also be pretty tempting, but I'm not sure if we could do it every week. Um, five different drivers during a race. Um, I'm going to go with this first one. I think we won't get it every week, but it does give us a pretty good weekly payout there. So, um, let's go over to R&D. We need to get arrow, um, part in the works. Need that front down force, or we need rear down force. Um, that part's more, so let's go with the front down force. Get stuff working there. Going to be focusing a lot on the arrow side of things let's head off to Bahrain um, I'm just going to do some practices off camera and then we'll jump into um, qualifying and then the race kind of be more of a surprise there for you guys um, that's also might as well throw in some extra resource point generation there for the durability I'm not worried about uh, much of anything else. No, why not? We'll throw in that as well. Um, and now we'll jump into the race weekend. Alrighty, so head into qualifying. I realize we need to go over a few things here. Um, first of all, driver movement. Um, Verstappen, Hamilton, Leclerc, Norris, Perez, Russell, Sainz, Piastri, Stroll, Gasly, Albon, us, Lawson, all stay the same. Ocon stays at Alpine, Yuki Tsunoda stays in Alphatari, Magnussen is still in Haas, Ricardo still in Alphatari, Hulkenberg moves to an Alfa Romeo. Joe moves to a McLaren. Um, Botas remains in the Alphatari. Sergeant in the Williams and Porcher in the Haas. So we have dropped Fernando Alonso here and then introduced the rookie of the O Porcher. Um, the other thing to look at here is going to be the 
placements in the um, standings for vehicle performance. So it's Mercedes at the tops, followed by Austin Martin close behind, McLaren, Red Bull, Haas is pretty far up there as well. Then Williams, us, Ferrari takes a big drop. They're down below us, though very close. Um, Alpine, Alphatari, and then Alfa Romeo down below. Let's head, actually, first let's get, nope, I'm actually going to save up a little bit, I think. I'm going to save up for this upgrade right here. Um, before I do anything else, that's going to help me out some. Hopefully this doesn't fail and I can get that one as well soon. So we're going to hold on to the resource points for now. Um, let's go to qualifying to see what we can do here. I wasn't some of the fastest laps in practice, but we'll see here. Um, yeah, I was quite literally the slowest one out in practice one, so I guess I know this was a struggle for me last season. We'll have to see how everything turns out here this time around. It's going to be weird to have the likes of um, Signs and Leclerc back in the Ferraris racing around this. That's what they're where they should be according to their vehicle performance. Now they may not be quite back that far because of the good drivers that they have in those cars. But I suppose we'll see here. I only drove turn one really really badly. Um I feel like I recovered well from it. Well, seems like I spun out. I did spin out here in season one. I stuffed it right into the barrier over there. So, um, one other thing, I was just trying to figure out some settings here. Began the last season, so we'll see how everything plays out. We did finish in 22nd here last time around. So we'll see what we can do here. We've got Sign dropping for us. Does not appear there that he is on a hot lap for a last buy. Maybe he should try to get behind him get some foot trim off from but all good. I want to see how I feel down in turn one here. Currently have second test lap. I know not many drivers have made their lap. I want to see here because I gained a little over a tenth there in turn one. I want to keep continuing this lap, seeing if I can. Turn a little bit better here. Got purple sector one. Let's see here. I was that like corner low. That's not going to help out my time. Actually, we're not looking too bad here, though. So, um. Must have had a phenomenal Sector 1 in that regard then. In fact that Sector 2 is not very good there. Oh, it's going to be very close to see whether I improve on anything. Losing time right now. Not had a good run it seems through Sector 3 either. And nope, it's going to be slower. Some of that's due to the ERS and stuff that you don't have on lap two. So turn to the garage. Um, I think we'll be fine to make it into Q2 here. Uh, or maybe not. There's a lot of guys who have.
place above us. Um, when I move forward here, there's some time. Um, and we're on our lap here. I'm not feeling safe there with 12th place, so. Let me see. Hopefully I can put out a good lap here. That ERS system is going to be all the way charged up. Definitely help me out here. You can see they're still currently sitting in 12. So let's see here. As we move on. Down on some time here. Again, I overdrove turn one. That time really badly. Um, so it's going to be what's going to be as I spun it there. Um, not going. I think it said down by 20th. But I suppose we'll see. And. Piastri makes it up there, so very nice there. Um, let's advance to the race and see what we can do. Months of rumor and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Joe, Liam Lawson, Albon, Sainz, Stroll, Leclerc, Verstappen, Gasly, Oscar Piastri, Magnussen, Bottas, Ocon, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Perez, the owner driver, Ricardo, Sargent, and Teo Porsche. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as once again we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Alrighty, so starting in... Or not 20th. 19th um, looking at our times here we go soft to mediums here um, Theo poor chair um, RA with a grid penalty Piastri a very nice qualifying from him up in 12 clearly that work that we've put in them during the option has paid off as Paris did not get away well at all. Had a massive checkup. Piastri's looking to get into the points here. Already? Come on, people. That was not my fault either. So I was turned right at that point. I continued to turn right. So I'm not sure how I was still getting um, hooked by the drivers. But uh, Piastri was up in the points while we were by him. So it'll be interesting to see if he hangs on to those. Gotta yeah, try to stick with the card on here as we move forward. Because 
Otherwise, I think I'm screwed this race. So. Focus now for the rest of the race. Yeah, yeah, that was really just a terrible start, but we're going to work with it. Let's see here. How are you getting such a big run on me? Oh, he's in that pot that's stupid good for no reason. Let's not get hooks here again. I'm trying to hang with Ricardo, but I think that group's going to pull away from me. Probably got the difficulty set just a bit too high. That's why I'm trailing so much. Um, I may go down a little bit on that, just to try to keep more competitive, a bit more fun here in Season 2 as we're getting ready to go out and F124. Um, but for Bahrain, we'll just keep around the same as we have been lately. Um, it's going to be close where I can hang with these Elftaris here. And the early running, we got Leclerc behind us, which is, again, just weird to think about. Um, and the Ferrari. I expect them to develop quite quickly, though. That's a mega corporation that they had going on there. And I expect them to, yeah, like I said, advance quite quickly into the next season. So... Okay, DRS will be enabled yeah, DRS this lap. But I've got to catch up to... Or keep up with Ricardo here. In order to take advantage of that. DRS. We've got here. I think since we've got here. We should be fairly okay for the rest of the lap. I suppose we'll see. Breaking early there. Don't want to get into the back of them. Don't need wing damage. Um, I got a terrible launch out of turn 10. There. Trying to stick with the car still. That front straight's gonna be my best shot to have a good run on him with the DRS. Going a little wide there. Still within one second of him. The only trouble is that he's gonna have DRS from Sonoda, but I do think we have. It looks like we have some pretty good engine power on him when we have the DRS, or not. Um, Leclerc's going to have a bigger run on us than we have on Ricardo here. Actually, it looks like I have a better run coming out of that little chicane there on Ricardo. With the DRS, but... Um, can't really do anything right now, we're just kind of stuck. Look for Piastri. Piastri may actually be up against those five um, points for the weekend. Caution. Oh, we've got a caution up ahead. Let's see what happens here. Who's got a failure? There's a big check up here. It signs with the failure. Okay. I got into the back of Ricardo there. 
not really what I wanted to happen, but we do get down inside of them. There's a big wad of cars here. It does appear that Piastri is in the points. And possibly quite far up into the point. Um, because I'd seen that there was another bright red dot up there, but I think that was signs, not um, Piastri. So Piastri may have be up here, um, seventh or so, maybe. We've got the two Alpha Mayos right up here in front of us. They are going to be slow. I'm not sure how they got to be up here. I want to take a dive here. I'm trying to make up some spots while I can. Maybe be able to capitalize off some DNFs or something like that. And I, I think in past these Alpha Mayos is definitely going to help me. Especially if I can put a gap between myself and the Hulkenberg. Again, those Alpha Mayos are the worst on the grid right now. So if I can put a bit of a gap between them and myself, maybe they can hold everyone else up. I think the reason I couldn't really um, touch the Alpha Tares is because of the fact that um, everyone was just kind of stacked up and had the DRS train going, so... Oh boy. Oh, it's also a ripple. So, that would explain it. Okay, now we got a snap over here there. I was going to say, stack everyone up and turn one and maybe we can... make a breakaway here. Still may happen. Don't feel like I'm that bad in um, sector one, especially if they're battling back behind me. So we may have broken away from them in terms of the DRS train, which would be very good to see. Because especially if Hulkenberg stays um, there in front of Sonoda. I don't think he's going to be able to catch back up with me on raw speed, so that's very nice there. We are pulling a bit of a gap, just going to be about maintaining it here, not overdriving any corners, anything like that. 1.3, back down into twos. But we're like here. Still in the 1.2. Definitely doesn't have DRS. So there's no way he's got that. But he may still be fast on the straight lines. So um, that's not um, too comforting there. Is within a second here. It'll be interesting to see if there's massive games made. I do not appear to have the influence of DRS there. We need to try to keep that gap, to the car in front. gap. Um, above a second, but I'm struggling to do that right now on some one sauce. It's going to have DRS here down this straight for sure. Try a good launch here. Gap him a bit. We are boxing the slap. So not that the DRS ends up mattering a whole lot. Um, on the slap, but in general I'd like to be able to uh, get a gap between these guys, but I suppose we'll see what happens. They could jump there. Driving in hard, say. 
turned on that pit assist again. It's going to help me some. Um, Piastri is likely out for another lap. Good release there. Leclerc is out behind us. They're okay, just behind us. The white line on the exit. And turn uh, performance. Uh, I hate pit road releases. But it's showing that we've got a good gap to the cars behind. Very nice there. Hopefully we can keep it that way. Um, I guess we'll see. Leclerc's on the hards. It should benefit me as well. Just maybe a little scary towards the end of the race. The tires are still cold, not as much grip on them. As I'm sure the Ferraris have more engine power than I do. Because it was the chassis department that really got that um, got hit by regulation changes last season. So Piastri is now in the pits. We'll see if we were able to undercut anyone on our pit strategy. Looking like we're. Pulling up pretty well at the moment against the players' hards. Be interesting okay, to see who we come out in front of. Point nine seconds. And who we come out behind. We are right up with Gasly as he's getting a really slow getaway here out of the pits. Very nice there. So we made up about a three second gap there. He's going to go to the defensive here. Coming out of the pits on those hards, drop into second gear and drive around the, the outsides. Perez is also on the hard tire. I'd like to try to be able to run him down as well, if possible, but I suppose we'll see there. I'm not within the DRS range of him, which is unfortunate. Um, because then I feel like, especially with where he qualified, we'd be able to keep up with him, but I don't, it's going to be hard to be able to make up um, six and a half tenths on him. So, um, And now it's up to seven tenths. We will get to that gap where we need to be to qualify for DRS. Hopefully, I was hoping for a car to be in here um, on the pits on, so Piastri could gain um, our place. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Um, but I suppose if we get another DNF further up in the field, that would put us right at the five points that we need for the race weekend. He would have four, set an eighth, and I would have one, set an in tenth if we can get a DNF. And that's assuming that we can hold off. Gasly here. But again, that's depending on a lot as well. Piastri seems to be holding on pretty well there, though. So, it's good to see from him. Good to see him performing well. I'd say we'd probably be okay, right up there ahead, with him well, had we not had seconds. that incident. Um on the opening lap, so, um, Gasly, again, is going to have a massive run on us, 
here down the straightaway, even before we get to the DRS, he's got a massive run. Let's drop him back behind him. Trying to make a dive bomb. That's not going to happen. Okay, I need to drive off. We have DRS on him through this straightaway. We're able to get it done there. Gasly and I are just going to kind of battle this thing out, I think. Still good gap to Sonoda behind. Um, I wouldn't say I'm the clear from him yet, but definitely a good gap there still, even with the fact that uh, Gasly and I are in the heat of a battle right now. Gasly's going to have DRS right here. And I can't see who Piastri is around. There may be a few spots on the table for him to grab there as well. But even I am finding it quite hard to be able to run up to cars and make an overtake here. So I'm not expecting very much on that aspect. Run a little wide here. Yeah, this might have another run. Gap to your teammate ahead is 6.6 seconds. I get the draft from him. Push him a little bit through turn one. Get the DRS for this straight away. He's got a bit more of a gap to us this time. May have to send it down the outside. Nope, still going to be to the inside. We make it late. Dive bomb Good job. Nice and overtake. make a clean pass there okay, still. The gap that we're trading the car ahead by 3.1 seconds. Sonoda's still a uh, comfortable length away. Not any danger of him getting involved in this at the moment. But he is slowly gaining on us. But at this point, I'm not too worried. He's still over. Two seconds away from Gazla here. Gazla took a look there. To our outside through that corner. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. I'm actually going to let. Yeah, as they go through there, I think that should set us up with DRS here instead of him. Oh, it does. What a beautiful move. That may... Uh, it's going to be close. I don't think it's going to quite pull away from him. In terms of DRS. Especially not when I overdrive the corner. I'm going to have DRS down this straight, but I'm not worried about defending through here. Maybe getting close to need to worry about Sonoda though with where Gasly is at compared to him. Almost could benefit from Gasly having the DRS here, not having to worry about Sonoda again in the mix of things. That's kind of what's going to happen here, is... Um... Sergeant has been disqualified. That's not what I mean to necessarily happen. I wonder how he got disqualified. I'll have to take a look at that. Gasly is not likely to touch us down this straight. Not going to be in any danger of Sonoda for the rest of the race. But we could be at risk for that 
lunging or that massive run that Gasly gets um, off the corner, off that last corner rather. Um, we could have a hard time finding that off. Um, but I suppose we'll see here. Overall, much better than last season. We're right in the thick of the mid um, pack battle. I actually want to know that Alpines are below us in terms of performance. I'm just not driving the best. So, Hamilton wins here, the Mercedes are on top once again, okay, we've only got one, lap of, fuel one lap of fuel, looks like Gasly is trying to kind of time this up, he's going to have a good run I think, try to back him up, get a good jump here, try to break that slipstream, he doesn't have enough there. And, and the the we bring we'll it home in 11th. Probably didn't get that extra sponsor bonus for having the points. We do get driver of the day. Um, let's That's take a, a look here at where everyone shook out the to. Let's have a look then at the driver's standings. Oh boy. Lewis Hamilton so, takes the lead of the driver's championship. So we've got Davidson, Hamilton, Russell, Joe, and that McLaren is Hamilton. going to be on he pulled fire. Off some feats out on the track today, Norris, by his Stroll, Albon, Verstappen, Lawson, Piastri, Knight. Very nice there. Perez, me, Gasly, Sonoda, Leclerc, Hulkenberg, Ocon. Botas, Magnussen, Cardo, Chair, Signs with the DNF, but Sergeant with the disqualification. Let's look at the race director incidents. Um, three of those were with me, just a warning. Parked in a dangerous location, so he had a DNF and okay, um, and then Signs with. Um, what was that engine failure mechanical failure so um let, let me find what sergeant did here a second so this wasn't even really the sergeant's fault so right along with him here um he got loose on the curb slides backwards and gets stuck in the sand and can't get out i believe that's what's going to disqualify him so they're going to deem him parked in an unsafe location. You can see he's trying to get out. He's making a little bit of progress. I think that's where he just get, got disqualified. Right there. Yep. And then he's just out. So, um, jumped up the porch chair there. So, um,. Also, let me figure out what happened on that first lap of the race. So, I get away very, very well here. No, it was Sonoda that didn't get away. I thought it was Perez. Um, lucky not to take wing damage there. I made a massive dive down the inside that worked out really well, actually. And I was turning right. I guess I... Because of my angle in, I got caught on some people. Let's see what happened here. I got hooked onto Magnuson. Is that who's right there? Let me change the... Yes, it's Magnuson. And he kept turning right as well. And I got stuck on... Leclerc as well. Right up here, our wings get caught. That was just a whole big mess. Um, so, yeah, quite an interesting start to the season. 
Um, we'll bring it back to the main menu and wrap things up. Both Piastri and I gained some acclaim there. He gains a little bit more in me though with that top 10 finish. We only got two points in the constructors there unfortunately. Um, but a little bit of damage on Piastri. Not much though, not going to worry about it. Um, and now we head off to. The team's income is looking very um, good. Where are we heading it's off time to? to have a think about our we're heading to what areas Australia, which we did also. Room? We also did not do well. Um, at last season, let's take a look here. We can go to season one. At Australia, it finished 21st, so decent race to run there as well. Um. So, looking at the results, currently 7, 7 and 11 in terms of the standings. Um, and we'll see what we can do for the rest of the season. Um, so, yeah. Welcome to Season 2 of F123, my team career mode. Um, I think it's going to be a really good season, so... I may drop the difficulty a little bit to make it a little bit more fun, a little bit more entertaining. Should be up near the front some more if I do that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. But then, um, yeah, that's going to wrap everything up for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one.